What's good, guys? There's a little more information in the case of Antoine Whitley, the teenager who went missing after the rideshare where they stopped mid-bridge and he got out and was last seen there. This came out this morning. Missing East Bay teen likely jumped or fell from bridge, police say. That's a picture of his mother, Tanetta Morgan. The caption reads, Tanetta Morgan closes her eyes while speaking of her son, Antoine Whitley, during a press conference held at the Richmond Police Department on Friday, yesterday. Richmond Police announced a reward for the whereabouts of Whitley, who was last seen on February the 10th. The article goes on to say, a missing teenager appears to have jumped or fell to his death from a Bay Area bridge, police said Friday, at a news conference in which his family said they still need some questions answered in order to get closure. Police, who continue to offer a $10,000 reward for information leading to Antoine Whitley's whereabouts, gave their most detailed version yet of what they believe occurred on February the 10th, the last time Antoine's mother, Tanetta Morgan, saw her son. According to police, the 17-year-old's last known whereabouts were about the mid-span of the richmond San Rafael Bridge. I just need to know what happened to him, Morgan said after the news conference was over. He was a good kid. I kept him at home a lot because I never wanted anything bad in the streets to happen to him. According to police, the last time anyone heard from Antoine was around 8.30 p.m. in a text to his best friend, whom police identified only as KJ. The text from Antoine said he'd gotten out of the rideshare vehicle, that he thought he was being chased, and that he may have to jump from the bridge. Right after that, all of Antoine's cell phone activity stopped, police say. A subsequent search warrant obtained through the cooperation of the driver and KJ showed Antoine's final text to be from the same location and time. To this day, there has been no cell phone activity on his phone, Richmond Sergeant Aaron Pomeroy said. For the first time, police also revealed that Antoine had taken hallucinogenic drugs and marijuana before entering the rideshare vehicle and they said his strange behavior after he got into the car caused the driver to miss the exit. The driver started watching Antoine in the rearview mirror, and that's why he missed the exit, Pomeroy said. He explained that he would comp him the ride across the bridge, that he wasn't going to charge him any money for it, and that he had to go to the other side of the bridge. Police say Antoine then became agitated, accused the driver of kidnapping him, and began to assault him in the car. When Antoine demanded to get out, police said the driver tried to assure him he'd turn around once they made it over the bridge, but that the teen only became more agitated. About mid-span, police say, the car pulled over in the right, far right lane on the bridge's top deck and stopped. Antoine climbed over the driver, through the door, and onto the roadway, where the driver lost sight of the teen. That happened at 8.28 p.m., police say two minutes before his cell phone activity ceased. According to police, Antoine's final text said, quote, they're trying to get me. I'm on the bridge now. I may have to jump off, end quote. The driver finished going across the bridge, then reported the canceled fare when he arrived there at 834, police said. That cancellation alerted KJ, Antoine's friend. The driver reported the incident to his company, Pomeroy said, thinking it would be reported to the police automatically by the company. Police have not identified the driver and say they will not. The driver has done absolutely nothing wrong in this case, Pomeroy said. Absolutely nothing. Search teams from the Richmond Police Department's Marine Patrol Unit will continue to patrol the shorelines of Marin County, Contra Costa County, and Solano County daily, along with Help from the San Francisco Fire and Police Departments, the Contra Costa and Solano County Sheriff's Office Patrol Units, the Coast Guard, and the California Highway Patrol. First, we don't even know if he went into the water, Sergeant Joe England, the commander of the Marine Patrol Unit, said. Second, if he did, we have no idea where he might have jumped off, so it's a large search. 
According to Pomeroy, surveillance cameras are on the bridge, but they don't cover the entire span. The CHP did not have any incidents reported on the bridge around the time Antoine disappeared, he said. So, it sounds like to me that this is a recovery effort at this point, unfortunately. But I'm going to stay on this case, and if I see any new developments, I will let you guys know. Thanks for watching.